Hello again, everybody, and welcome to Back to Basics Gaming. Um, this is part two of our Let's Play edition of Busy Town. Richard Scary's Busy Town. Yes, it's a kid's game. Uh, if you haven't seen part one, what the hell are you doing here watching part two? Uh, I really don't care as long as I get the hit, right? All right, so last round, we went on ahead and we did Captain Salty and we did uh, Building the House. By the way, this is on the Sega Genesis. You can easily get it from CoolROM.com. Or uh, any of them ROM sites out there where they, um, yeah, I got mine, I think, from Cool ROM. <clears throat> but, um, yeah, it's a children's game, blah, 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 pretty obvious. Okay, so next up, The Wind. Okay, so this one, it's pretty quick. All you're going to do is just take command of this little tornado here, and you can interact with various things. I'm the wind. So, yeah, you can tickle her ass, you can control. Okay, maybe not. Yeah, you can move stuff, move the crows, move these dudes, move that little airplane. I don't know what the hell these guys are. Oh, hot air balloon. I, I don't know what's wrong with me. Oh my god! They're, they're gonna die! Are they. Are they ever going to go away? Yeah, they sure did. There's that bird again. The wind feels good. Yeah, they're just saying, I don't know if you can hear it or not, I'll see what I can do in the editing department, but yeah, they just say like, oh, the wind is good, yeah, blah blah blah. You can help, help him with his sailboat. There's really no target here to do like in the last two other ones. I mean, all you can really do is just move stuff around. Here, you want to move a paper boat because moving a real boat wasn't oh no, good enough? Uh-oh, I sunk his boat. Man, I'm just like killing people here. Look at this poor bastard. Every sailor should be a good swimmer. Man, he sure is taking that easily. I would have been at the shores crying. What the hell is he doing now? I <laughs> just keep screwing with this guy. I don't know what the hell he's doing in there, but okay. So yeah, you can move the balloons around. Uh, I mean, it's mind-numbingly boring, the, you know, us, but I mean, for a kid, you know, I can see them probably mindlessly zoning out on this for like, you know, I don't know, five minutes at least. Hey, a sub came up. <laughs> like, I'm legitimately having fun. Okay. Pop the balloons, blah, blah, blah. If you're having a hard time, you can go to help. <laughs> you can blow this guy's hat off. You can be, like, pretty much just being the wind is just like a total troll fest, you know? You can just be a total jerk. Look at him. Alright, well, there you go. Here, you want to... So can blot the sun out, I think. Let's see. Yeah, there you go. Wow, weird. Why is it in that filter? Like, I did not do that. Okay. I want to try and get this um, weird filter off. I got to move this. Yeah, there we go. I don't know why it does that. Can help him with his kite. Alright, I think we've seen enough here. Are you asleep yet? There you go. There's the wind. Let's get out of this one and get to the next game. Uh, here we go. My kitty's back. Come here! Okay. So there's that. Now, alright, so that's the wind. This is just how to play. Uh, now we will go over here to the fire station. This should be a good one, right? I honestly don't even remember how it goes. So he'll explain stuff to you. Okay, I guess you play as Smokey the Firefighter. How imaginative is that? I mean, like, you might as well have just made him a fucking bear, too, you know? Smokey the Firefighter. Porky the Firefighter. Pokey the Fire... I don't know, whatever. Okay, so... We gotta get, we gotta get our uh, truck outfitted. Okay. 
And again, the game talks to you, tells you what crap is. It's kind of doing my job for me right now, so really this is like the laziest Let's Play slash review ever. Red light. Like, do they... Do they undress the truck every single time it goes back into the... into the building? Because... That's just wasting time. People are just burning alive while they're over here dilly-dallying around. This is not how a fire station works, kids. Okay. This is where they go to sleep. Wait, he's like the only one there. Where's everybody else? Alright, so there's the fire alarm. Quick, let's panic. What the hell do we do? What the hell? Think back to our training. Think back to our training. Alright, let's shut off the alarm first. Shut the hell up. Let's grab our blue fireman's jacket. Or raincoat. Okay. Yeah, there's your little hat. <laughs> like, he's got like a like a bristle on top. Like, like it's like a... Like, like Spartan style. You can go down the pole, which is something that firefighters actually don't do anymore because, um, for those of you that don't know, I guess going down the pole was dangerous. I mean, it was time-saving, but it was dangerous because there may be a firefighter that still hasn't moved away from the pole after sliding down it, and what was happening was that they were literally falling on top of each other, so they pretty much abandon that whole thing. Though, a lot of fire stations still keep the pole. What the hell am I talking about? Let's go already. <laughs> Who the hell wants a lecture in that? Surprised you haven't changed the channel by this point. So yeah, you can actually drive there. Look at that, man. Don't you wish your car could turn like that? Get to the destination. Oh, it ain't there. Speed bump. This dude's over here working. Here we go. Look at this guy. Nice hat. Alright, so let's grab this. Where the hell did that guy come from? What did he do? Fucking walk? How come his helmet is different? Right. Come on. Wearing that hat. It looks like he's from like. Cypress Hill or something. What is this, like a smoke out? Oh, another one. He's like wearing a suit. Okay, you can get off now. The girl kitty. Oh man, how many are there? She like flipped. Did they all flip? I don't even remember. Oh, flames are getting crazier. Alright, so we're gonna put this back now. Now we have to... Uh, Oh, attach the hose to the hydrant. Okay. Get up here. Gotta get close to the fire. Let her rip. You can actually... You can spray the family, too. So if you want to be a total asshole, there you go. Oh, you like that? Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, oh, oh all over your face. Oh, oh. All right, it's enough of that. Good job. The fire is okay. <laughs> so there you go. It just kind of abruptly uh, tosses you out of the whole experience. All right, so we'll go down here. We only got a couple more, <laughs> and then and then the game is over. So, I guess it was a good idea just to make this a two-part video. I mean, probably not a good idea to make this a video at all. But, hey, here we are. So, going over to Bruno's Deli right over there. We're going to go get ourselves a salami sandwich, my friend. I <laughs> like how he flies his little helicopter inside of the establishment. Would you take care of the deli while I'm gone? So, I guess what this is trying to so tell you is, or teach you is responsibility here. So, you have to take orders for people. 
this guy wants a hamburger. Now, I think it's funny that this whole deal is, you know, kind of teaching kids how to be responsible, taking orders, stuff like that. Yet the owner just, like, let some kid in to run his whole, you know, deli. Dickhead. All right, Bruno. You don't want to call Bruno a dickhead, though, because, you know, he'll get you whacked. Right over there. He smells like cold cuts, my friend. Pretzel, we don't want a pretzel. We want this. Wouldn't it be great if it was really like that? Like, it's a great concept. It really is. Looks great. Okay. So, you want to know what else is in here? That's it. This is it. And it's one of those never-ending things, too. Uh, the only thing that I've noticed in here is that the orders get a little more complicated. But that's literally it. Like, they'll want you to start pairing stuff up, like... Some guy will come in and say, Hi, I would like some milk and cherries. Look great, Uncle. Thank you. You're welcome. So, th this is it. I guess I can show you the drinks? I'd like to have some hot chocolate. Yeah, let me have some hot chocolate on this hot and sunny day. Little, little porker. What the hell? Gotta wait for this thing. You can act, man, I think you can actually overflow it. So let's have a little fun and let's give them the wrong stuff now. See what they say. I want some ice cream and pizza. Okay. Well, there's the ice cream. But we need more. We're going to give you some apple pies. Here you go. Ice cream and apple pie is a better combination anyways. That's not my order. Oops, that's not my order. How about something to drink? Oh my god. This thing takes forever. Let's overflow it. Uh oh, too much. That's all he says. Oops, that's not my order. And that's not my order. Alright, let's give her a damn pizza and then I think we're done. And I like how it even gives you a clue right there as to which arrow to press to get to it quicker, I guess. Like, really? D did I pass it up? God, this is not quicker. Should have went with the other one. Yeah, because look it. Okay, no. Man, they got a lot of stuff there. I guess maybe that was the quickest way. There, have your fucking ice cream and pizza, you old bitch. Look great, Michael. Thank you. You're welcome. This kid again? You were just in here. Cherries and lemonade? Forget it. There you go. There's Bruno. Thank you. Hey, so thanks for doing my job for me. Is it cool if I don't pay you anything? All right, then. See ya. So there you go. Not really that fun. So far I like Captain Salty and I like uh, the, the building the house. But man, this is it. This is literally the game. Um, like I said, Bruno's Deli goes on forever. The wind goes on forever. And uh, I believe the delivery truck goes on forever. This is just how to play. There's nothing in here. There's a big old thing in the middle. It gives you nothing. So yeah, you got three things that go on forever. And then three that, you know, end within you know, five minutes. And I mean, imagine how much this game cost back then. It probably cost like, you know, 50 bucks, 60 bucks back then. I know that the games weren't cheap even back then. They were never, video games were never cheap. <laughs> if you didn't know that, now you do. All right, we got to pick up this lamp. So yeah, I'm talking my ass off here. Pick up the lamp and just drive it around town. Watch out for the obstacles. There you go, electric supply store. Thanks a lot. And I'm telling you, this is it. Now, again, like I said, this is intended for kids. So, keeping that in mind, yeah, but... I don't even know if any kids would really even pay attention to anything like this. Oh, I just got a flat. Oh, that's funny. Okay, so... 
you have to slow down at, at the game is busy towns throwing me a curveball here but you have to slow down at the speed bump because the fucking city is too fucking cheap to fix it I got deliveries to make I'm trying to like get in front of here there we go the televisions store all right, I'm going to do a couple more deliveries here, and then I'm done. I don't think there's really going to be any other uh, curveballs. No, I can't slam into that uh, couple over there uh, enjoying a hamburger. Oh, I could! <laughs> Cop comes out, better slow down now. Try again. I mean, what kind of law is that? No ticket, no take me to jail, no nothing. There's like seriously no consequences for your actions other than, hey, try again. Oh look at there's a whole other side over here. Let's see if we can maybe we can have some fun with this. Let's knock this over. Yep. And I was going slow. Wait, you gotta watch this dickhead just tell you over and over. He should just come out and be like, I'm really getting sick and tired of your shit. I'm trying to have me a beard back there. Alright, slowly, slowly. Let's hit this guy. Mm, dick. You like that? Ay, shit. Here I come again, just trying to enjoy some Guinness. Knock it off, you wee little bastards. Alright, this time we're gonna do it for reals. Cafe Ole. Alright. Slowly. Look at this rabbit down here. It's just like. Like, I can't help myself. Asshole, take that. Bugs Bunny don't take that long to dig a fucking hole. He didn't even need a shovel. Little bitch. Alright. Alright, this is actually becoming a little more fun than I thought. What happens with this? Uh, this dude's like, what the fuck? I like how he gets out of the hole. Like, when we're about to, like, run it over. And, like, look at the mess there. You think that he could, like, have the damn ladder facing the correct way? These... The manhole is, like, just in the middle of the street. And, like, look at this damn orange safety thing there. It's not even propped up right. Alright. Now we're gonna do this for real. I know I said that, like, four accidents ago. But we're doing it. Okay. Alright there. Tennessee Tuxino. Most of you guys probably don't even know who that is. And I'm not gonna explain it. Go wiki it. Cafe Ole, man. What a drive. Just couldn't go around the damn corner, could ya? Please deliver the loudspeaker to Officer McDrunky. They all have the same fucking voice. What the hell is that? Gold? Bananas? Really? We're delivering bananas? Okay. Man, I want to go to the left side. Oh, dude, is that rabbit? That rabbit's gone. He finished his hole. Oh, and look at that damn thing is in the way. Alright. Alright, I'm gonna have to end this video soon. Dude, I know. I'm trying... There we go. Let's go see what accidents we can get into on the other side. We're not even gonna pick up our new stuff. It's another one of these. Little chickadees. Man, can you run over the little chickies? Damn. They went away. But I can run into this. Ah, <laughs> <sighs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Whatever. <laughs> A fish bowl. With fish included. Cool. He's conveniently over here because that's where I'm going. To the school. Man, it's like the smallest fucking school I've ever seen in my life. Can you, like, get in here? <clears throat> trying to get into that patch of grass right there. Ah! 
Okay. They weren't even there anymore. <laughs> I like how that's the only way they reprimand you. You should, like, have to go to jail. Alright. So, anywho. There you go. That's Busy Town. Really not much to it. Uh, I think if you want to just quit this, that's all you do. Just go over here and quit. He'll get back in his little apple. Which, I mean, you gotta admit is pretty badass. So there you go, there's Busy Town. I mean, how many people are actually going out of their way to click on something where it's, you know, let's play Richard Scary's Busy Town or whatever? I don't know, but, you know, th this is the game. I mean, it's a kid friendly game. What else do you want me to say? You know, I mean, it's, you know, it's for, you know, four year olds, five year olds. I mean,. When I was five years old, I was playing Legend of Zelda, so, you know, I really can't say. I mean, I don't know, three-year-old, three to five years old, three to six? I don't know. I guess it's just, you know, based off of the kid themselves. But, um, this is the game. There's not much to it. It's not a bad game. It really isn't. It actually got, like, a 4.7 on Cool Rom. Um, you know, it's cool. It's cool to just, you know, kill a half hour with or whatever. I mean, you know, that that's pretty much what I did. Actually, I think I spent more than that. But, uh, yeah, there you go. So, thanks for watching, thanks for listening, and thank you for helping me get back to the basics. And we will have more Let's Plays, and hopefully I can pump out some legitimate uh, reviews as well. So, take care.